In this video I'll be going through my notes on NCA Physics exam advice. Number 1. Don't write near page edges. Page edges are often cropped out as a result of the scanning process. After your exam your paper will be processed into a digital copy and the side effect of this process is that a couple of centimetres around your exam paper can potentially be cropped out. Number 2. Write the unrounded value for show questions. For example, if we were asked to show that an acceleration was 7.20, when looking at your working, your markers will be looking for this unrounded value. If the rest of your working is difficult to decipher, having this unrounded value will clearly signal that you've calculated the value correctly. Number 3. When asked to show that something is a given value, do not work backwards from that value. For example, if you are asked to show the distance travelled by a 100 meters per second bullet in 5 seconds is 500 meters, you should use the other values to arrive at the value that you're trying to show, not work backwards from that value. Number 4. Use the spare paper provided in the back if you need it. Making your writing smaller to fit it in can make it hard to read. Number 5. Stuck on a calculation question, write down the values you're given and what you're trying to find. This can help you find relevant equations. Number 6. If the question asks you to state a value, it's likely 0 or a number you already have. Number 7. Formulae can help with explain questions. For example, how does increasing charged plate separation affect the force on a charge? Using this equation here, we can see that if our voltage is constant, increasing our separation is going to decrease our electric field strength. So our equation for force here shows that if we keep our charge the same and have a reduced electric field strength, our force is going to decrease. Number 8. Write tidy. If it can't be read, it can't be marked. If you cannot write tidy, speak with your teacher about a reader writer or device for the examination. Number 9. Diagrams can often convey information more efficiently. We could say the wavelength is larger behind a moving source and smaller ahead. Since the wave speed is the same and V equals F lambda, the frequency will be smaller behind and larger ahead. Or we could draw a diagram and use annotated equations. Number 10. Use specific language. Here are a few examples. Instead of speed changes, state specifically that it increases or decreases. Instead of waves bunch up, the wavelength decreases. Instead of time gets slower, which doesn't make technical sense, the time taken decreases. Instead of the pattern decreases, the angle between decreases. Number 11. Keep your working tidy and easy to follow. If your working is disordered and hard to decipher, should you make a mistake, it can make it harder for the marker to see exactly where. If it's just a small mistake, we can often give a partial mark, or in some circumstances, we can even give the full mark. A good way to set out working is line by line. Number 12. If you're bad at paragraphing, use bullet points. The required information is still conveyed, it's easier to avoid repeating yourself, chains of reasoning are easier to follow, and it's easier to avoid repeating yourself. Number 13. When completing a multi-step question, write down the values you find along the way. If you bungle the final answer, these are often worth part marks. For example, if the question was to find the acceleration, finding the time might be worth an achieved, using that to find the velocity might be worth a merit, whereas the final answer could be worth a full excellence. 